Welcome back to the channel. This is uh, Steve, of course. Angelina Jordan, American Shaman, O-L, I think it is. And this is from Albert Ledesma, L-E-D-E-S-M-A. And uh, American Shaman speaks about um, Angelina Jordan, Old Souls. Let's go ahead and watch this together. I think this is going to be... Um, Kerry usually has some pretty good uh, ideas and some comments, so um, I think we're going to just watch this together and see how it goes. I have no idea, none whatsoever, what this uh, gentleman is going to say. So if it gets too wild and crazy, I may have to uh, stop, but we'll see what happens. Let's watch. I'm going to take one shot at this. Greetings, I am Albi, American Shaman in California. I am a Native American and Hispanic. Uh, I've been a spirit worker since I was a young child. Today I'm going to be speaking about uh, probably something that's... Uh, been coming in my life and your life for a long time. Uh, something very important. I'm speaking about old souls today, and I am speaking uh, specifically today about a young lady named Angelina Jordan, or I call her Angel. Many of you are calling her Angel. Many of you are feeling the need to protect her. You should be feeling the need because she's made the calling. She's made the calling to the world. Now today I'm going to be speaking about old souls and proving about old souls what old souls are about. People ask you how could you prove such a, something like that Albert? How can you prove that there are old souls or that people are reborn? being we are born at a, a, a level a vibrational level at birth and from that vibrational level we can rise or fall we are born in the middle of the scale and if we receive trauma we descend into darker lower vibrational if we receive love and we are enlightened, we rise up in the higher Zen zones. At six years old, I came across Angela Jordan. And I, as a shaman, uh, it is my job uh, as specifically to identify um, unknown entities, ghost entities, um, Sasquatch, ETs. Um, disembodied spirits, um, you name it. That's I, that's my field of study. Uh, as a cleansist and as a, an exorcist, I have to identify everything that I see, whether it be another shaman or an archangel. Whatever it be, come before me, I can identify this. Uh, being trained to do this as a shaman, 
um, it allowed me to create this chart right here, this chart which I call this chart of spiritual hierarchy because there are levels to spirituality and hierarchy of spirituality. I want to go into this first box. I'm going to cover this quickly. These are uh, religious teachers, right? Rabbi, bishop, clergy, padre, ministers, chaplains, pastors, friars. And in this category, you are taught to walk like a deity, talk like a deity, and worship a deity. And there's many types of deities. And then once you kind of get out of this column, a religious column, you move into the next one column, which is awakened beings. You have a source connection. You become a spiritual teacher. Then you have a different set of people. Lightworkers, monks, gurus, wiccans, stangers, masters, star seeds, star child, pregents, mystics, old soul. Then you move up to another column as you ascend higher into your levels. You've got gifted mediums. They got source connection. They understand the paranormal world, the crypto world. They're advanced teachers, psychics, channelers, prophets, clairvoyants, sorcerers, witches, warlocks, indigos, magicians, enchanters, wizards, mangus, exorcists, bokars, healers, mambos, hoonigans. Then you got the final column, what I call our cosmic avatars, source connection, paranormal connection, crypto connection, even extraterrestrial connection. Cosmic Avatar will have. Here's your shaman, your medicine man, your sin master, your oracle, your sage. In that highest calm. Okay. So, as a six-year-old, I found Angela Jordan to be in the highest calm as a, an ascended master. I understood this when she was six years old, that she was an avatar, an ascended master with, with cosmic consciousness, and that she has a goal. Um, at six years old, I also got the same story that, uh, about the shoes and her barefoot performances. Uh, for me, that was a key trigger instantly to know that um, I needed not to pay a little bit more attention to her. And as I um, saw her first Arcopella performance for Norway's um, Got Talent, um, when she stood in line with all the other kids and she walked up and just stole Cole Sang, um, when you feel that level of emotion uh, on your body and your hair rise, um, you know that you are speaking to an old soul. So you're at that level now that you're dealing with an old soul, a child that can do that. That's not normal. It's a rebirth. Okay. Now, but there's something more special about Angela Jordan. Not only is she an old soul, um, she's a cosmic avatar. There's old soul here in our second column. She's gone straight to cosmic avatar. So what all these cosmic avatar and a shaman, all they're going to do is, in their lifetime, they're going to try to create peace and healing through the world. That's all they're going to do in their lifetime. I've identified her as that. So being that, she is, um, she, as I said, is an angel. Um, if God were to place an angel, if the stars were to place an angel on earth to create peace among all men on earth, what type of angel would he put? Would he put an angel that was scientifically knowledgeable of everything and that can create scientific tools that would help us be peaceful? Would he put on uh, a person that would uh, financially understand the money system and gain so much money that he can take care of the world? Or would he put on a singer that does something different to the body than everything else does? And I'm getting to the point of listening very carefully here. This is music. Out of all the arts, all the arts, music bypasses the brain. 
Music goes to the body. It doesn't need the brain. And I'll prove this to you. You've, I know you've caught yourself tapping your foot to a song you don't like. Because your body doesn't care. God's not going to speak to your mind. Because your mind is twisted and bent. And it's disruptive. God's going to send an angel to sing to your body. Because when he puts the goosebumps on you, and he puts the chills on you, through her voice, it supersedes everything the mind can do. It stops the mind. It controls the mind instantly. It puts the mind wherever she wishes to put it. And all she ever does is put it in a peaceful place. That's what the highest cosmic people will do. They're going to put your mind in the highest, most peaceful place. Yeah, so she is an old soul, but she is beyond old soul. She is actually a cosmic avatar returning. And not only that, she is one of the best I've ever, ever seen in my lifetime. I've seen two others. Now this one here, Al, they say, Albie, why are you putting the angel, the cosmic avatar, on top of this little girl who is now 13? Um, why would you give her such a heavy burden to, to put on her shoulders? And I want to tell you that I did not do this. Uh, this is a burden she came with. This is a burden that she is well accepting, and she is um, stepping right into it from her birth till now. Perfectly. I've seen kids do this, but this is definitely not an old soul level. This is above old soul level. She is tuned in. She is doing it perfectly, like just as I was when I was a child. I had no guidance, so I I'll have to do it all intuitively. If you do it intuitively from your heart and your soul, not your mind, but your heart and your soul, everything that you can do will be at the highest performance of wisdom, at the highest level of vibration being that you can be, at Christ consciousness. She is acting at Christ consciousness, at will. She doesn't need a training. She doesn't need nobody to start it. It's all intuitively. It's already all in there. All she is doing is just playing it out in perfect harmony as she walks this earth. She created a song, I believe it's called Shield. Hello, Angela. Angelina, I'm sorry. You make me blessed too. You really do, girl. Shield. Uh, to me, um, hearing Shield for me, was uh, a great relief because I knew at that point that she um, was calling all the light workers. She was calling all the light workers in and letting them know that she's here and she needs her protection, um, uh, our protection. And I've gone over hundreds of videos of people having her first time reaction to Angelina. And I've, I've heard it many times, people saying, um, we have to protect this girl. She is something special. Uh, she's going to bring something special to this world. I say, I know. I, I totally agree with all those people. She, she needs our protection. She needs our love. She needs all the light workers. She calls. She, uh, if you watch, listen to the song Shield. Um, if you're a light worker and your uh, vibration is is above base, if you're vibrating above here. This level here, the base, just below base, you will cry. You will begin to cry. If you're down here and a very low vibrational being, you will not get shivers. You will not cry. So I will actually use Angelina Jordan to um, tell what vibrational levels people are in. Within uh, a few seconds, if, depending on how intuitive they are, and they cry, how fast they cry and how fast the goosebumps come up on them, I can tell where they are on this level. So I'm watching reactions of certain people, like certain guys, 
will rise and show me uh, tears pretty quickly into this level. Uh, girls up in here into this level very fast. Um, so each person, what she does is she allows me to see directly into their soul by her their reaction. So I can see the, each vibrational level. So thus I can use Angelina as a tool in my spiritual work. Uh, I can play the song for you. Uh, and if you're having a bad day, I can just simply play a song as part of my therapy and part of my work with you to calm you, to bring you back down, level you out, right? I can use her to not only calm you, but it'll help me identify where you are spiritually, how broken or how um, enlightened you are, okay? So... Let's get into how would I identify uh, Angelina Jordan as a being that has belonged a old soul and actually working into the cosmic avatar state. Um, there are several things, that, and I've noticed that uh, out of 100 or 200 videos that I've watched, nobody catches these things about her, and I guess it would have to be to me to say it to you, to tell you the identifiers that are, make her different. Okay. I'm sure we've all seen, um, oh, let me see, uh, I put a spell on you, right? Okay, so that's like, uh, what, age 10, I put a spell on you. So some of the most important parts of that song are, are overlooked. Um, so as you are studying Angelina and you're watching her fire, there's things you have to see um, when you're looking at her aura. Okay, and she says, I put a spell on you because you're mine. <clears throat> There's one part where she says, I put a spell on you. And, and then she says, because you're mine. When you see her hands open up and she raises up off the ground and she lets the outside out and she lets it up, you can tell at that point it's it's not a child. It's something that's beyond. It's It's cosmic it's it's bigger it's bigger than her as her individual self so I tell people um, when I'm speaking or I put down something it's not for me I'm like the conductor of an orchestra and you can't see I have spirits and angels and and deceased members and people that passed away loved ones and other things entities behind me like a large orchestra the woodwinds the brass uh, drum sections, I got all strings, they're all here behind me. See, and Angela has the same thing, I'm sorry. Angelina has the same thing, she has that orchestra behind her. It's cosmic. So when you hear her thunder and roar, you're hearing it not just from her, you're hearing it from a whole orchestra of entities and angels and, and beings that she's bringing in as an avatar. See, that's the difference. And the next identifier is, well, like I said, at one time when she says, you're mine, she lifts up and her hands, uh, for me, I see the lightning shoot out her fingers. And I know she knows there's lightning shooting out her fingers too. Uh, 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 energy waves, you couldn't see it, but there are energy waves shooting out of her. Her aura is so freaking huge, she has, she's shooting out. And when she sang that song, uh, she put a spell, it's done specifically for everyone in the world to catch that spell of hers. And it's the spell of incredible love that is bigger than this lifetime. And it's going to slow you down and decompress you. It's going to give you the understanding that there are bigger things. Now, what's the future for Angelina? I know. I've already read it out. I'll give you an inkling of what she's doing. Angelina's future. I'll take it back to the shoes. The shoes. She's going to be very wealthy. She'll use every damn penny to feed, clothe, and house every fucking person on this planet. That's it. 
She's not going to sing forever, guys. No, because after she hits a certain age, she has to step back and do a bigger thing. She has to do the world's humanity. I'm not saying she has to. It's not. I'm not calling it. She's doing it. I, again, I'm not putting this on her. This is what her will is. This is what the cabinet avatar with the amount of strength that she has and the world following her, she'll be able to do. She, she came in huge and she's staying huge. She's not going to disinflate that. She's going to move on. She's going to become a humanitarian and she'll still be doing music. What's up? So, so at six years old, I did that, and uh, let's get back to, um, the video she did, at the end of the video, she did, uh, let me see what the name of the video was again real quick. Okay, yeah, so what everybody was overlooking at the end of I Got a Spell on You, um, Angela Lee did something that was very important also to me besides uh, doing the song Shield. Um, at the end of I Got a Spell on You, what is the very last thing Angelina does? Well, two things are very important. First, she's holding up the candle of the original singer. Um, that is complete spirituality. Having no shoes and wanting to be the Madonna to take care of the world. Complete spirituality. Um, but right at the end of I Gotta Spell at You, what does she, what does she do? Do you know what this is? Do you understand what she did by this? Go back again. Watch, I got a spell on you. The very last, right before the end shot, the last two seconds of the video, she gives you this. Do you know what that means? I know she knew what it means. She knows exactly what she did right there. And she knew exactly what it meant. I don't know if you know what it means. Um, it's something children don't do. Um, that's something that uh, is only done by... Uh, Intuitively by uh, something that's bigger than an old soul. Like I said, it's it's a uh, it's a uh, it's Buddhistafa as I would know it in my religion. It was be Buddhistafa, uh, and and it would become already Buddha. She would already be Buddha at this level. Like I said, a cosmic avatar. She's not Buddhistafa anymore, and and that move, signature move there, um, the words coming from within our Buddha are of spiritual enlightenment they are Zen they are of a higher understanding of cosmic awareness that is called a madra um, there's certain things we use um, in spiritual work they're called madras And um, the, the specific one that she used, um, it's something that, a madra is something that is not specific, it's not a book that teaches you, it comes from within you. And how your hands work between your mind and each other, how they correspond, speaks at a higher level than words. It speaks at something, it says a hundred more words than you can speak. Like a picture is worth a thousand words. This picture at the end, nobody spoke about the thousand words she gave you at the end of that video. All right. 
Let's move on to her performance here at AGT. Um, if you had known what she had done before, even though she was using the lower bluesy, ragtime, raspy, I've been drinking alcohol since I was uh, five years old voice, you have to know that for her to do that, she had to do the high stuff too. Because you're probably thinking, well, she's just got this specific tone and that's all she's going to give us. Um, so she did the Whitney very recently and, of course, AGT. And um, there's your proof to your pudding that um, this is beyond anything that you've seen before. This is beyond anything that you will see maybe in your lifetime. And note this, please. She's giving you everything you need right now. She doesn't need to sing forever. She might stop, but by the time she's 18, she may stop singing. Okay, that's okay. You have to accept that. She has to go on and carry on her humanitarian. And she may give us a song or two. Once a month, she may release a new song or two. Right? And, and, and we accept that. Because we're going to be craving so much of her. So please, uh, she's, even though she is that avatar... She's still a human being and needs a human life. Um, so let's protect her. Let's give her that human life. Let's, when she takes that different step through a different door, back her 100%. It's not like she's never going to come back to singing again. She's always going to sing. That's the thing that is going to calm the world. That's the power that she always can fall back onto to shut everything down to her perfection. Well done, Angelina Jordan. Um, well done. Um, Take it easy on your little sister, how huh? you melt her. You know everybody in your family that when you sing, you melt them. And we were sitting on the couch singing with your little sister. Um, I understand the power. You understand the power of your vocals. So um, you melt you melt people, and you know. So uh, be careful, you know, who you melt when you when you melt in, and uh, stay away from the boys. Um, you're nothing but trouble. It's hard. You already know all, all that. You know, you've loved more than any of us through many lifetimes. Um, and then uh, I, I'm really looking forward to you just doing what you're going to do with your humanitarian work. It's just going to be amazing. And I hope one day you get to wear shoes. Namaste. Wow. You know, I hope I'm not a sucker, but you know what? <laughs> he he hit a lot of things that put things into words that I've been struggling with trying to find words. And, uh, oh, boy, that is, uh, that video right there, in my opinion, every Angelina fan should watch that video. Every Angelina fan should go visit his page. Uh, as I'm looking at it down below here, he's only got 385 subscribers. I think he should have 385 million subscribers, uh, just on this alone. And, uh, so he's not very well known. 
and of course, you know, there's, it's always good to be a skeptic in some regards about things, but you know, when he's talking and you felt this way about Angelina and you've struggled with the words, you don't know what to say. You don't know how to describe it. You don't know what, you seems like words are inadequate. What did he just talk about that? And even at the end when he was talking about that, that hand gesture, I'm not sure how to do it, but, uh, like that, maybe something, this, okay. Um, and the meaning behind it is a, I guess it's, we'll call it a, uh, something similar to a symbolic gesture, maybe, or a gesture of recognition that you recognize something, you know, about Angelina. And you know that means something, but you can't put it into words because it's not meant to be put into words. You just have to know, right? So, you know, us, us angels, as Angelina fans are known by, and Angelina, of course, her name is perfect. Uh, she is an angel. Uh, and I've felt since the first very first video was I put a spell on you that I saw of Angelina. And I've felt since the very first video that there's something very special about this girl. And I don't know what it is. And here you go with this. Uh, his name is Albert Ledesma. L-E-D-E-S-M-A. And I'll put his information in my description box so you guys can have it. Uh, I always put the original video description in there anyway. Unfortunately, it's not clickable. I don't, maybe someday I'll figure out why that is and fix it. But, uh, and uh, I, I think every Angelina fan might want to watch this just to, uh, maybe it would help you understand more about why you feel the way you feel. Maybe you don't need to know. Maybe you don't want to know. That's okay, too. You know, I just think that it's, you know, even if you're a Christian or, a, you know, a Muslim or Jewish, uh, Native American, some other, you know, any any anything that involves spirituality, religion, you know, sometimes most religions, not all, but, so, you know, a lot of religions uh, have ex ex exclusionary uh, a content where, you know, if you're not us, then you're not going to get into heaven. Right. And I, I sort of, you know, I would prefer in my own mind that a loving God and a loving afterlife would somehow include everyone that is a person who has, as he's describing it, risen to a certain level, you know, and, you know, that would be kind of my preference. Um, but, you know, sometimes I'm a, I'm the scientist that's trying to overanalyze things sometimes, too. Maybe I just go with the feels, right? So that was that was extremely interesting. And it touched a lot of it touched me deeply and goes along with my basically the way I've been thinking anyway. I just didn't articul to articulate it the way he did. So I found that really interesting. I don't know about everybody else. You guys can make up your own mind. In my opinion, I think everybody should watch it and give it a shot. And, you know, you use your own, you know, your life is your life and how you think is you how you think. Uh, I'm not trying to convert you to uh, uh, following uh, uh, Albert as your shaman, but uh, I got to tell you, <laughs> uh, I he only said a couple things in that whole half hour that was a little bit weird. But not even that weird, because it's unknown. So it's just to his through his lifetime of study, this is what he has found, and he spent some time to put that together for us today. And I appreciate him. Uh, it's been it's a couple of years old, three years old, almost exactly three years old, one one month short. And uh, I'm gonna leave a comment uh, before I leave the site here, but. I'm also going to get this video up and running for you guys. So I appreciate you being here for all this length of time. And I didn't see anything during, I didn't see anything during the video. First of all, I, I, I was uh, st stunned, amazed, and shocked at the whole thing. That he was breaking things down really well. I understood what he was talking about for, for the most part. And uh, I uh, certainly, um, what would you call it, uh, felt that there's a kindred spirit thing going on. And I'm not kidding about that. I like to kid around a lot, but I'm not kidding about that. I really was feeling it. So I want to thank Carrie for uh, sending this information along. Never heard of it before. And I'm so uh, thankful that I did watch it. And Carrie thought that I would probably appreciate it. So thanks, Carrie. 
Um, there you go. Uh, I mean, I can bumble on for another hour talking about it, but let's not bore you guys to death, okay? You guys have a nice day. I hope you check out this video. Go visit uh, Albert's site and give him a subscription and a like. Uh, he needs bigger numbers than that for what he just did there, in my opinion. And I hope that you guys agree with me on that. You know, even if even if you don't like a lot of what he says or agree with a lot of what he says, he still put in a nice effort here to try to uh, explain things. And I think he hit a lot of all all the relative, all the um, oh all the, the the points. I suppose you know the the goosebumps, the hair standing up, all that stuff. He, he analyzed the, uh, I put a spell on you video reasonably well, I thought, uh, not through a uh, video reactor analysis standpoint, but through somebody who is attached to some uh, spirituality or some connection uh, to a greater thing. And, you know, I've always said that I think the, Angelina connects with us in some way, and I can't explain it, but he did a pretty good job of trying to uh, let us know that that's uh, uh, something that exists. And I'll, I'll buy, I'll buy in. I believe he's a genuine guy. You know, like I said, I might be a sucker, but so be it. I'm a sucker. Okay. Wouldn't be the first time. Won't be the last, <laughs> but I think he really did a great job. So have a good day, guys. I'll quit bumbling and I'll rambling and we'll let you go. I appreciate you watching the video and please uh, share this, pass it along. I think even people that uh, maybe aren't necessarily Angelina fans would enjoy some of this content, this content uh, as a way to explain various uh things that pass through our lives as we go along. So that's it. You guys, uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.